guys? RC Must See here, and we're at Motorama 2019. Chilling in the hotel, we finally got here. It was three, over three hours to get here. Now we're just having a good time, getting in the mindset to race, and uh, hanging in the hotel room with my boy Alan. Of course, seeing him, watching my channel, and my boy George, right there. We're chilling, watching a little UFC, and uh, looking forward to the race tomorrow. Everybody's looking forward to racing. This is what we look forward to all year in 8 scale racing, there's no doubt about it. This is the biggest event in the Northeast and there's a lot of top people that come out and uh, I'd like to do a nice video for you guys. So, what do we got? So it's uh, 6 20 in the morning on the first day and last night I uh, came to the realization that I forgot all of my paperwork to get into the the show um, the whole envelope it's been sitting on my counter for months since I signed up and last night I realized that was literally the one thing I didn't bring so that's gonna be another thing I have to work out this morning unfortunately I'm sure I'll get in but it's gonna be a big pain in the butt and uh, I'm pretty mad at myself all right, so it's about 8 o'clock. Uh, well, let's just say about 8.40 in the morning. We made it. Um, didn't need my pass yet. I have to still sort that out with the uh, with Motorama, but we will get it sorted, no big deal. Getting our first look at the track right now. Looks pretty damn good. pit table here. Take a walk over to the 10 scale sign, see what they got going on. So I just got done running uh, Truggy. I was in the first heat and uh, the track is very wet still, pretty loose, um, very technical. And it's gonna take a little while for it before the track really comes around. But it seems like there's a big learning curve with this track, but it is fun.
say, boys? Wall or C's representing. I thank everybody for coming to be a part of the program here in 2019. It's uh, something that I've been involved in for many, many years now, and it keeps getting more enjoyable and more fun. Get to meet many new racers. We have a lot of first timers here this time, and uh, I'm all friends that we've seen for many, many years. It's been great to have everybody come back. And again, we have a shout out to the family and uh, 80 something like that entries. So it's just at the limit where you can get as much racing in. But try to allow as many people to come in as possible. All right, it's morning of day two, <clears throat> qualifying today, and then he's going to run some lower mains. Um, had a good day yesterday, pretty decent. The buggy I uh, was driving better than the truggy, um, and uh, the track's coming around pretty good. I feel like I have good tire selection. Luckily, I was able to figure out the ticket situation. Thank God that was it was ruining my whole day, uh, just sitting around thinking about the fact that I didn't have a way to get into the show today. So after talking to many people, um, I was actually able to buy a ticket, uh, another ticket early, and uh, they're gonna refund me when I send the old ones back. So, all good. <laughs> You guys feeling like going for a walk? Yeah, man. Yeah, check the place out. Definitely check out all the different events Motorama has to offer. Lots to see. Absolutely. BattleBot. It's not BattleBot. Sir, it's not BattleBots. It's Conflict Robots. Oh, okay. Don't mix the two up. I, I do not mean to offend any robot. I apologize. <laughs> Don't offend the robot.
<laughs> you know, some in order to have these kids like that, like excited about what's going on, and like you know, dads that are interested, all the way from Ohio to come to Motorama and run, is like what's important for the hobby. Because without these guys, without these kids, when we're done and old and we can't run, and we're just running a track instead of actually being the guys that are running the cars, we need them out there. The lifeblood, hobbies, awesome. How did we do today, gentlemen? Uh, I did. Uh, I'm I'm extremely pleased with you. What did you think of the track? The track is fabulous. It hasn't rutted out like it uh, has in other years past. Uh, it's challenging, and I think everybody, like, everybody is getting faster every single qualifier because we're all figuring it out, and it takes a lot of mental thought to learn this track layout. So kudos to the designers uh, and to the way it's holding up well. To the people who got it done, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so follow to Mark. Keep watching this video, and... Uh, See if any of us are going home crying tomorrow, if we're cheering. We don't know where we're going to be. That's the beauty of Motorama. And we're, no matter what, we're looking forward to what tomorrow brings. All right, guys, it's the last day, Mains Day, here at about uh, 8.30. I'm race number 16. I'm up first out of all of the buddies. So uh, wish me luck. Feeling a little hazy after our night at the bar, but uh, that's half the fun, right?
Here comes one of them. Alright, so we're back in the pits. Alan just finished his main. Uh, both, the, both of them, I believe. So how'd that go? Uh, you know, the cars drove great. The cars, I am so thrilled to go into 2019 uh, with two cars that are really dialed in well. The driver needs a little work. Uh, how'd the race I go? Drive well. Um, the buggy race, I bobbled a little bit, finished somewhere mid-pack. We could find that's where I started. The druggy race, I had an unfortunate incident to the start. Fell not only to the back, but half a lap back. And as I'm sure you'll see some video clips, uh, I just had fun after that. I opened it up, I overdrove everything, I powered it. Figured, hey, let me try not to finish last. And amazingly, I didn't. Uh, I, hope, I hope it gave you some entertaining video at least. Uh, thank you to my sponsors, Hobby Masters, uh, for making this all possible. Talk about your buggy run, how'd that go? Uh, well, let's just say my name should have been the guy from Barn Shaky Hands, number one. Um, Motorama, I don't know what it is. It always is racing, just gets the nerves up, but 
I started the G main, I was in the third position. I got up at the first. Um, then I ended up having a bobble on my last lap, the last 30 seconds on the high speed. Flipped on my back, lucky enough to get on all fours again. Across the finish line in second, I got the bump, I'm real happy, so I'm going to the uh, 40 plus C main, which is up in a couple of races, and I'm gonna try to bump up again. Bump, bump, bump. Nice, you looked awesome out there. Thank Very you. smooth, didn't look like you had the shaky hand syndrome. I know I had it. It's the nerves, man. They're the worst enemy at a big race like this. I drove absolutely horrible, and my hands were shaking like crazy, and I'm going to try to get that under control. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how'd your Motorama go? It could have been better. Um, road case. Both, both, both buggies yesterday in mains, but buggy last lap, truggy first lap. And I still finished fourth with the buggy, though. Nice. So, Did you have fun? Missed a bump by two seconds. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. So my mains were really tough. I didn't drive well at all. Uh, just the nerves. This event, the nerves get to you. Uh, I'll tell you. But I ended up uh, actually not doing quite as bad as I thought I did. Finished uh, fifth in the truggy uh, and eighth in the buggy. So didn't get to bump. That would have been nice. But unfortunately this year it ain't happening. Honestly, it was the nerves. The car was driving a little squirrely. It seemed like a little dusty out there. And... Uh, just my hands were shaking too much. Uh, but you know, that's part of, of being a racer is being able to overcome that. And that takes a lot of practice. Maybe next year. Okay. Third place. 
place coming up also. Amazing race! Amazing!